What up squad, it's Nate Bauer. If it's your first time to the Nate Bauer Fitness YouTube channel, I'm a personal trainer, a boxing coach, a former competitive fighter. I've coached NCAA athletes, celebrities, many, many clients, and of course, I have a, an online community where I train people all over the world. So I'm blessed to be able to do what I do. Here on this channel, I wanna share my knowledge with you to help you lose weight, get fit, learn boxing, lift weights, so it's hit boxing, resistance training, core work, it's all here on the 8-Bar Fitness YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna to be going through a 30-minute shadow boxing hit workout. You may have done my 30-minute heavy bag hit workout, which has over five million views. You may have tried my 20-minute shadow boxing hit workout, which is close to a million. And what you get in this workout is constant combinations, one minute hit, 30 seconds active recovery. And if you're new to boxing, don't worry, the warm up, three minutes, I'll take you through the boxing combos. And if you have to go through this workout multiple times, that's just what you do. It's free and it's here to use as much as you want. Let's go guys, it's a 30 minute shadow boxing hit workout here on the 8-Bar Fitness YouTube channel. Let's throw our hands and get shredded. All right guys, let's go, let's go in 10 seconds. We're getting into it. Again, get into your boxing stance, hands up, and let's review these combinations as part of your warm up. I am a orthodox fighter, so you're here. Bring the, whatever hand you're dominant with, so if you're right-handed, bring your right foot back. If you're left-handed, left foot goes back. You want to stay in a nice angular stance. Your toe, your front toe is at, say, one o'clock. Your back toe is at two or three o'clock. Stay in the stance. When you do combinations, this is where you are. You live here, okay? Now, stay a little bit low on, you le on your legs. You don't want to sit on them. You want to stay low with a little bit of a flex. Lower half, core is tight, hands are relaxed. Your fists are about squeezed, about 60 to 70%. Let's go. Throw your jab, and then at the end of your jab, you want that squeeze of 67 right at the end to go about 100%. It's the number one. Let's go. Work the number one. And you want to move a little bit. Now the number two is the cross right here, the rear cross, the little slight hip rotation, bring it right back to the stack. Two, let's go. Two, one, two. Back to the stack. One, two, or a jab cross. Three is a lead hook, slight rotation from the front hip, don't over rotate. It'll change your body position too, too much to your rear side. Right there, so you're bringing your lead hand towards your rear hand not over rotating. Keep the shoulder blade down. That's the three. Three, two. So feel that rotation of your entire body moving from one side to the other. Hands up, back to the stack. Four is the rear hook. Four, three. Back to the stack before you throw it. Move in between. Four, three. One, two, three, four. Jab, cross. Lead hook, rear hook, lead uppercut, number five. Hear the sharp breath, that's what you wanna do, breathe, don't be scared to breathe. Six, punches one to six, right there. Okay, little hip rotation, don't overextend, because again, you're rotating too far to your lead side. Six, okay, now slip right, slip left. Slip, slip and cover. Now let's go through everything. Jab, cross, do it with me. Lead hook, rear hook, foot position. One o'clock, two or three o'clock, feel your leg. One, two, three, lead hook. Four, rear hook. Five, lead uppercut. Keep that nice angular position. Six, rear uppercut. Slip left, slip right, cover. Elbows tight, but you still have a little guard right here. Cover, a little faster. One, two, three, four, five, six. Jab, cross, lead hook, rear hook, lead uppercut, rear uppercut. Slip, slip, cover, okay? Now, as we go through this 30 second recovery, heart rate's around 110, 115. So that's not bad for a little bit of a warm up. That's pretty good. Now, your first hit round, your first hit piece. We're just gonna throw jabs and crosses to get that heart rate elevated again, because you want kind of that little boost, that blood kind of pumping through your body before we really get into it. Jab, cross, one minute, let's go. One, two.
jab cross. Small movements. If you have to do it this fast, that's okay for your first set. Thirty seconds, halfway. After this is your active recovery. But first we gotta finish working. Stay on those legs, feel them working. See, already an 80% of our heart rate max. Good, active recovery. Fill the rest of your punches. So it would be a three, a four, or a five, or a six. Whatever order you want. Active recovery. So active recovery, think at like 50% effort. You're throwing a three, four, a five, six, or three, four. Okay, now jab cross a little harder and step to the lateral side after every punch. Step, step, step. Push off the rear side to move to the lead side. Push off the lead side to move to the rear side with your feet. Don't forget that hip rotation on the cross, not on the jab. Thirty seconds. Come on, step and fire. A little harder. Back to the stack. Your stack is there. Pull the rest of your punches. Five, six, three, four. Four, five, six, three. And then move. Whatever order you want. If you still want to review the numbers, do them in order. Three, four, five, six. If you're good, random is good. Now, one, two, one, two, slip right, go. Slip, slip, S -s -s slip. Slip, slip, bring your right hand all the way back before you slip. 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 Thirty seconds. Move a little bit. Don't forget lateral. Don't forget to slip. You can move as you punch. Less than 10. One more. Good. Active recovery. Right there. Three rotations. Now, what we're gonna do after this rest is we add on. Of course, we're gonna work in the hook now. So your first combination will be a one, six, three. Now think of this combo as your inside. Small turn, small turn, small turn, okay? So it's a small pivot, but you don't even have to step. You are just working inside. Jab, rear uppercut, lead hook. On your toes, champions. Get ready. One, six, three. 
One, six, three, one minute. Jab, rear uppercut, lead hook. One, six, three, small turn. Hmm. Work inside. Let's go. One minute. One, six, three. You can move on that. Don't forget, step in with the jab. Ba, ba. Step back. Ba, ba, ba. Step back. One, six, three. Less than 30. Come on, stay with it. One, good, now, slip, slip, cover, with movement. Slip, slip, cover, and move. Slip, slip, cover, and move. On your legs. Get your blocks in if you want. One, six, three again, add a two. Go. One, six, three, two. One, six, three, two. Let's go. Hit. One minute. Step in with the jab. Step back on the hook. Small angles, remember? There you go. Change. Change. One, six, three, two. Change. You can always mix it up. Two. Ah. Good. Slip. Slip, cover. Keep your hands up. Slip, slip, cover. Hands up. Slip, slip, cover. Active recovery, remember, 50%. One, six, three, two. Again. Now just battle inside. Stay here. Battle. Right here. Battle inside. You don't need defense. Just battle. <laughs> Extend. Loosen up. Palms or fists. More power or hip for impact. Less than 30. Battle, come on. Go to work, champion. Slip, slip, cover, move. Then you can move with little walks. Tracking down your prey. That's all you gotta do. Easy. Four, three. Good. Now, Let's get into your next round. Work on round number three. Now round number three, once again, energy stays high. You wanna think about being at a consistent pace, 
If you feel like you're dropping your hand here, which happens in hit workouts, again, back to the stack. Maybe you have to take a punch out in order for you to bring that hand back. You have to take a punch out and go from say a four punch combo to a three punch combo. That's cool, because remember, it's all about how you use your energy. If you find your energy is being wasted by trying to bring your hand back up, cut out a punch or just add straight punches, okay? Now, jab, this is the hook to the body, cross, rear uppercut, bop, 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 bop. Let's go, ready? Watch, jab, here, cross, uppercut, jab, here, cross, uppercut, come on. Power. Get that heart rate back up. Power now. Jab, hook body, cross, rear uppercut. Maybe the uppercut's too much. If it is, cut it out. Okay. You can cut it out. There's always ways around it, guys. Working that same side. Take some more skill. Double jab. Double jab. Small step forward. Keep this arm from flaring out. And keep the pinky close to your chin. Back to the stack. One six, two six, so one three, two six. Right there. Try it. See if you can get, make it work. Less than 30, guys. <laughs> 15. Don't be afraid to move. One more. Double jab. That's it. Move. Head, body, work that. Recover guys, get the heart rate down. Get ready for more. One, three body, two, six, one, two. Six, one, two, let's go. Jab, cross, finish. Jab, cross, finish. Less than 30. Last one in this round. One more, right there, double jab, come on. Move me. Are you standing really tall? Sit a little, feel your legs.
composure. Rest. Round number four. Here we're doing 30 second sets of some conditioning. I encourage you to do the conditioning, but if you don't want to, just throw your hands. Pick a combo that we already did and just do it constantly for 30 seconds. First one is skaters. Okay, step for step with me. Once you're step for step with me, get there faster. Once you're step for step with me, get to that lateral position faster. Think bum, quad, and calf on that planted foot. And then think you're controlling your torso so you're not being too pushed too far to that accelerated side. Let's go this way first. Ready? Go. 30 seconds. Step for step. Distance for distance. Come on. Less than 10. Push. Back foot does not touch. Squat. One, two. Ready? Go. Faster than me, I already told you. Once you're on it, accelerate it. Heart rate in the 170s. Calories over 300. Watch, get into a squat position. Lunge and hold this, 30 seconds. Don't let your foot touch. If you lose your balance, hands go to the side. Hold it. Hold. Don't let it touch, guys. 90 degrees. Hold it. Hold it. Less than 10. Switch sides. Whew. Thirty seconds. Flex your bum. You can even flex your biceps and hands more. And figure out the best spot to look on the floor. Once you drop that big toe down and that rear foot to see what stabilizes you better. There you go. See? Nice work. Bring it up. Active recovery. One, two, three. Work. Jab, cross, lead hook. You guys sweating yet? Now, if you couldn't finish that, or it was too easy, just add 15 seconds to each of those. Next time, hold the weight in your hand. Just keep working this. One, two, three. Add a block right. Block right, 15 seconds. Block right. Block. Block. Now, two, five, two. Let's go. Two, five, two. Power. Under five minutes, guys. Come on, that includes cool down. Step on the uppercut. Step back. Step back. Step back. Step back. You got it. Get that up. Ten seconds. Whew. 
active recovery. Wow, whatever you want. Any punch, any defensive move, will work. Show your opponent you're not tired. You're not tired. Five seconds. Two, five, two, three, two, go. Finish strong, guys. Finish strong. Two, five, two, three, two. Pivot off the hook. Two, five, two, three, two. Fifteen seconds. Cool down. I want to keep going. Take your mat real quick. Real quick. On your back. Take your right leg, pull it towards your lead side, your left side. Up towards your opposite side armpit, so my left armpit. Switch. Towards your right armpit and breathe. If you want, you can hold underneath. And as you exhale, try to allow your leg to drop in your hand. It gives you a little more support. My legs are so big, I can barely hold it in my hand. Stop laughing. Switch sides. <laughs> Great job, guys. Cool down. 45 more seconds. Switch sides again. Try to keep your opposite arm straight off from your shoulder. Don't want to hang down too much. That was a fun workout, guys. Non-stop, straight through. And the last one, go to your stomach here. And I'm gonna do some McKenzie press up. So drive your toes into the floor, push up, keep your hips flat to the floor. Look up just a little bit, don't crank your neck. Come back down, hands back a little further. Mackenzie, press up. Put your back into extension. Push your hips down. Make this like 60% effort. One more. And time. Shadow boxing hit. A great way to let your hands go with one minute sets. To focus on endurance and stamina. It doesn't get much better than that allowing you to pick up combinations on the fly. Your active recovery allows you to reset without dropping your heart rate too much. When you're burning close to 500 calories in 30 minutes, it's real, it's effective, and it's good for almost any level. If you guys feel like it was moving too fast, again, you can cut a punch out. You can go back, learn the basics, and come back. And again, don't forget to try the 30-minute heavy bag hit workout on the channel and the 20-minute shadow boxing hit workout and there's hundreds more. And of course, a reminder, if you wanna join me here on the Nate Bar Fitness YouTube channel as a member, Right beside subscribe, there's join, hit that. You can go as just simply a support or go tier three or tier four, leveled up or elevated, and that'll give you access to all of my elevated workouts or most of them. And of course, if you wanna join me at natebarrelevated.com for all of my elevated workouts, that's there as well. And stay tuned for my app. Guys, I will be doing a full schedule for workouts for you guys as a live stream, and you can access those as a member. It's all coming and my app is gonna be with you guys in about four, probably about four weeks, okay? Thanks for joining me. You guys are amazing. If you haven't subscribed already, this is the type of workouts you get. And of course, check out the 30 minute heavy bag hit workout, the 20 minute shadow boxing workout. It's all here on the channel. Good job, guys.